Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for visiting my channel again. As always, first things first, could you please give this video a like, hit the subscribe button, and if you wanna see more, smash that notification bell. We're gonna be looking at a few things today, including the VIP subscription, some of the hidden gloves, and some really annoying gloves, which I hate, and some sped up slap battle action. Let's get into it. Okay, the first thing is the VIP Titan glove. Let's take a look at what it does. Whoa. This glove turns us massive. It's pretty cool, but I don't use it a lot if I'm honest. Okay, next up is the ability to gift 100 slaps to friends, subscribers, or whoever accessed from the settings menu. This could come in useful if you're new to the game. I just wish you could gift more at once. You get a VIP tag in the chat, great or not. But what is pretty cool is the fact you get five slaps every minute that you're in the game, so that's like 300 slaps per hour for free. You also get two times slaps, hit effects, and passive gain, whatever that is. As promised, we're also gonna be looking at some hidden gloves that you might not know about. First up is the spin glove. This makes you spin and plays a super annoying song. That's enough of that. I think you can type slash e space helicopter in the chat, but you need an R15 avatar for that to work. Don't mind him, he's just taking his dog for a walk. Okay, another hidden glove is the error glove, found just below the spawn point. The error glove doesn't really do a lot, it just basically oofs you and makes you respawn, but I'm not gonna give it the satisfaction of offing me, I'll oof Ooh. myself. The next hidden thing is the killer fish from San Diego. He doesn't know what he is, but he tastes really good, apparently. Killer fish. Killer fish from San Diego. I don't know what I am, but I taste really good. I'm a killer fish. Hello. I'll be your killer fish for the evening. It costs 99 Robux, and if you want to see what he does, it's highlighted in another one of my videos where I take him to Brazil. From San Diego. <gasps> Next up is the potato glove. This isn't selectable from the stands. You have to go through the blue default only arena portal and it's found like this. With this, when you slap someone, they get a, like a hot potato icon with a timer next to them and the potato instantly kills players when the timer runs out. The blast can also knock back nearby players and the explosion can knock people off into the void. As of this video, the latest codes are Lone Orange, all one word. This gives you 100 slaps in beginner. This gives you 75 slaps. Any new codes will be added to the comment section. Okay, now to take a look at a pretty scary glove with a scary name. This is the Ghost Glove. It takes 666 slaps to get spooky. Ghost's ability is invisibility, and it will play a demonic laugh when activated. It then makes the user invisible to others, and you can slap them without being noticed. Like so. Oh, I nearly forgot Peter Griffin. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Ooh. Whee! The newest glove in the game, the run glove. And then you line up your victim. Run. To get the run glove, you must escape the maze by finding an exit door 10 times by not dying to the run user who controls a giant skull called Bye, Terry trying to kill you. Goodbye. If you need help getting this glove, just leave your Roblox username in the comments and I'll help you out. But I had to include one scene where I caught the player though. Okay, what next? Let's try glitch. Ouch, it hurts me. 
Another fun glove is the extended glove. It's pretty easy to get. It only costs 105 slaps and it's great for slapping dangerous one-shot gloves like overkill at a safe distance. Most of the time anyway. Whee! Then there's a slapstick glove kind of similar to extended but I think it sucks. Now for some annoying gloves, starting with Boogie. Boogie's ability, get jazzy with it, summons a glowing disco ball above the Boogie user's head and begin to play music. Anyone who is near the disco ball will begin to dance uncontrollably and you can't do anything to stop it. Okay, okay, no more, it's so annoying. Then Scythe Glove, if you want this, I show you how to get it on my previous video. come back I'm always happy to slap you up in our reverse reverse's ability is opposite day which is an active ability that makes it so that almost any slap you receive will be reflected onto the attacker instead of you for six seconds all right let's fight Well, that's what the squid glove does. Null's null spawn ability summons nine imps. These imps chase the nearest player, remaining locked on until defeated or despawned. If three of them latch onto a victim, a black hand emerges beneath them, grabbing them and crushing them. The prop glove, the active ability hide, allows the player to morph into various objects and things and will return to normal once you get ragdolled or slapped someone. So, a strange coincidence is coming up. I was going to go to the island and use the golden slapple prop, which some people do sometimes to fool people, but on the way there, the golden slapple was actually there. Weird. What the hell? Oh my god, no way, yeah, yeah. This will be a good time to use the swapper glove. This basically just swaps your position with the nearest player. My friend is such a noob. <laughs> Finally! We may as well take a look at the golden slapple, seems as we just saw it. The ability defensive tree makes the user jump really high and spawns a tree underneath the player. How about a little of this? Wood style! Deep forest emergence! Ooh. Gravity's ability, two times gravity, creates a purple sphere around the user for 10 seconds, similar to shield. Whoever walks into the sphere will be slowed and cannot jump. Big Parada has joined us. Check out his YouTube. It's at your Roblox friend. Helicopter, helicopter. God's Hand, it took me so long to get this. God's Hand's special ability, stop time or time stop, and prevents the movement of time and allows you the opportunity to eliminate a single player upon using. Firework Glove. Firework's festive launcher ability shoots a guided firework from a rocket launcher. On impact, it explodes, pushing back nearby players. Walking forward allows the user to ride their own rocket, and other players can ride it too if they touch it before acceleration. The Excavator Glove. So Excavator's ability, Dig, allows the user to dive underground and dig around the arena.
cool or no? Bob! <laughs> the glove's Bob ability creates a black humanoid named Bob at the user's location. Bob chases and targets the nearest player. When someone is targeted by Bob, the sun sets from their perspective, darkening the map. I am dead! Not a big surprise! The Voodoo Glove. What can you tell me about Voodoo? What the hell? Now we'll look at the Alchemist Glove. You need this to get the Druid Glove and also the Scythe Glove. <laughs> Let's try that again. There are 18 potions, shall we do them all? Okay, first is the Grug Potion. For this, you need one mushroom, and this turns the player into the Slap Battles Tester Grug. Next is the Nightmare Potion. It takes three dark roots, and this gives the affected player the night passive effect from the Nightmare Glove. is pretty spooky, not gonna lie. Whoa, who the hell are they? Creepy. Wee! Wee! Oh my god. Wee! Wee! Confusion Potion. One red crystal, one blue crystal, one glowing mushroom gives the affected player the brain damage passive from the Confusion Glove. What the dog doing? Paralyzing Potion, two plain flowers makes the affected player ragdolled for 10 seconds. Haste Potion, one Autumn Sprout, one Jade Stone, gives infinite glove speed for six seconds, it cannot be thrown. Invisibility Potion, two Hazel Lily, one Blue Crystal, it makes the affected player invisible for 10 seconds. Explosion Potion. One red crystal, two fire flowers. The player will die instantly in a big explosion when the potion is drunk. If thrown, it creates an explosion that deals knockback. Caffeine! Toxic Potion. Two dark root, one blood rose, one red crystal. This applies either the infect passive from plague or fart blast passive from zombie to the affected player. But did you die? Freeze Potion. Two Winter Rose, one Wild Vine, one Blue Crystal, one Glowing Mushroom applies the Freeze Passive from the Ice Glove to the affected player. Feather Potion. One Mushroom, one Hazel Lily. Makes the gravity setting of the wearer slightly lower, allowing them to jump higher than usual. It's similar to the Moon Glove's low gravity ability. Believe me, I can fly. Speed Potion. Two Mushrooms, one Plain Flower, one Hazel Lily, one Blue Crystal. Increases the player's walking speed for six seconds. Lethal Potion, 10 Blood Rose, 10 Dark Root. Instantly kills any affected player. It's about to go back.
Corrupted Vine Potion. Three Wild Vines, one Blood Rose, one Dark Root, one Elderwood, one Jade Stone. Drinking this potion takes you to a tower defense scenario with three towers and eight waves to overcome. Clearing Wave 7 awards you the Gardens and Ghouls badge and completing Wave 8 grants the limited time Alchemist Hood UGC. Okay, so I sped this up to make the video shorter. You can slow it down in YouTube, playback settings if needed. I basically placed a few of the blue plants. When I had enough, I placed the yellow plants, set them to attach either strongest or first. You may need to change this up mid-game. I upgraded the units I had out to max where I could afford to. Then I placed a few of the stronger units, but I don't think they're too good to be honest. Be sure to use the blue and yellow plants first. Upgrade them and place the most expensive unit last. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, please consider subscribing, and also leave any comments below what I did good, what I did bad, what I could improve. I reply to all comments, so I hope to see you in them. Take care. See you in the next one.